Hello again, everybody. Hey, I am working on a beautiful Yamaha GB1, and I just got through um, installing this PDS 128 Plus control unit. So it's a piano disc system. And so I just wanted to show you how to use Piano Stream on this particular system. And notice how it says PDS 128 Plus. Since it says PDS 128 Plus, um, when you use the MD BTO1, which is right here, you don't need a power source for it because on the back of this thing, the MIDI out has power for this device. If this were a PDS 128, I'm sorry, a PDS 228, then you would need a power adapter for the MIDI out to power this device. But once again, with the MIDI uh, 128 plus, all you have to do is plug that thing into the back of it and then it'll work. So um, the other thing that you have to do is make sure that you have a floppy disk in the floppy drive. As you can see, we have one. And then what you wanna do is just push the mode button twice and then push MIDI right there, which is button two, and then push pass. And I have a song playing, so we'll see if it starts. Um, there it is. Let me turn it down. Oh, and that's the other thing too. You won't be able to control the volume with piano stream because the piano is a little bit too old for that. But after you calibrate your piano, you can bring it way down to nothing just like that, okay? So notice how softly this plays. And keep in mind, this is a GH1, about 25 years old, and this is a Piano Disc PDS 128 Plus, so not bad at all. Listen to how softly that, softly it plays. Very, very nice. And notice the dampers. I went through and adjusted the pedals, so they only come up, you only need them to come above the strings about an eighth of an inch on a Piano Disc. So this thing sounds really, really good. So. Now, another thing too, is if you do have one of these systems, most of the time the pedal will be really noisy. So you can get under there and fiddle. I don't mean to use the word fiddle around, but for lack of a better word, just get you a crescent wrench and a, a one half, I think it's a one half inch on the other nut with the older system, but whatever. Grab two crescent wrenches if you want. And then get under here and loosen this nut right here and that one right there and just adjust it so that until it sounds better to you. You don't want a lot of slop in that. You want it to basically move exactly as this is moving now. See that? So basically, about a half of an inch equates to an eighth of an inch with the dampers. I don't know if that makes sense, but basically just adjust that a little bit until it doesn't make a bunch of racket, okay? And then here is the BTO1 plugged in. And once again, notice that it does have power because the PDS-128 has power on the MIDI out port. Okay, now let me show you one other thing. While I've got you. Okay, so I'm going to exit this right now, okay, by, by simply pushing stop. And I hate to stop that song because it's so beautiful, but I'm going to stop it, okay? I'm going to stop that. And th this will get me out of, oops, I'm hitting the wrong button, sorry. Just hit the stop button to get out. Okay, now I'm out. And remember how I said you have to have a floppy in the floppy drive for this to work. Now, another reason why this piano sounds so good is because not only did I tune it, but I went through and calibrated it. And the way that you calibrate it is really simple. You just put a disc in there, just like that. And then what you want to do is you'll push the one and the four button at the same time. And... And I, I, okay, so I only have one hand here, so I'm going to push it like this, okay? I push the one and the four button, and now notice how it says setup. You want to push setup, and then you want to push learn right there, okay? And then push the start button right there, and push the fast forward button until you get, see that note right there? Okay, on some pianos, the first note will start right here because of the legs, but that's kind of a long story. So basically what you wanna do is make that note play as softly as possible, like it's playing right now. Imagine you're sitting there playing the piano, just make it so that it just barely hits those strings. Solid, not too weak, but nice and gentle, just like that, okay? And so, and what you do is, so let's pretend that this note is even soft, okay? Like it's so soft, I can't even hear it. That's way too soft. So just push the volume up button till you hear a nice, gentle, solid strike on the string. 
Okay, now push the fast forward button right there and do the next note and do the next note. And you can go back and forth as much as you want to. And you want them to match each other as closely as possible. See how I'm doing that? And that actually that one was about right where it was. Okay, and so you just go through and you do the whole piano. Another thing I would suggest is going like this, push and hold that thing like that and warm up those solenoids a little bit, especially if this has never been done before. And it'll loosen everything up. So you can fast forward it and you can also go like that. Okay? And when you get all of them so that they sound like they're about the same volume, then all you wanna do is push the play button, okay? And now this thing is ready to go. And so I'm gonna hit the stop button and I'm gonna hit stop again and get out of this learn mode is what it's called. One more time, stop. Okay, I'm out of there now. And now the floppy disk will work like it should work. And let's just for the heck of it, let's um, go back into piano stream. I think it's still playing. I don't know what's playing right now, but just hit the mode button twice, hit MIDI and hit pass. And it's gonna, probably gonna be too loud. See, there you go. So hopefully that'll help somebody out there. Tell me what you think, thanks. Actually, that sounds really good if you want the truth. Okay, I'll see you later.